Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm out here in beautiful Red Rocks Park in Amphitheater in Colorado. And we're gonna take this 2023 GMC Sierra 84 AEV edition for a drive. So we have a 6.2 liter V8 with 420 horsepower, 460 pound-feet of torque. And just have a look at this volcanic red color that we have glistening in the sun. And we have the 33 inch tires with the 18 inch Salta wheels right here looking fantastic. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of black wheels, but this has this industrial functional look to it. So I think it looks really good here as well. And in the back, you have the AAV treatment of the tailgate here with this blacked out portion. You have the camera and the light here integrated in the deck lid and you have the AEV front and rear bumpers giving it a little bit of a better uh, departure angle in the back and of course you get a better approach angle in the front end i love what they did in 2022 with the facelifted uh sierra front face it just cleans everything up and looks so good i love this color also in contrast with the black trim that we have here and you can see the uh, AEV front bumper uh, downstairs. So let's pop the hood and let's see what's under the hood of this beast. So as I said, it's a 6.2 liter V8. Unfortunately though, this one is not equipped with the Borla exhaust, which is an option for this and it sounds pretty quiet this thing. And I think it's a shame because it's a big V8 in the front and you kind of want to have that make the right noises and this just doesn't so that's definitely an option that i would pick if i was buying this ninety thousand dollar truck is to add that borla exhaust onto onto the system overall in this case but that's it you can't really see much down here that's what it looks like engine bay down there so let's close this up and let's take this for a drive Oh, this gorgeous interior. Beautiful update for uh, 2022. Uh, it's just, it just refreshes specifically the interior, which was in desperate need of an upgrade uh, when, uh, when, when it came out in 2022, not just for the Sierra, but also the Chevy Silverado and the update they did there. So we have a 12.3 inch fully digital gauge cluster. We also have a 15 inch um, head up display. I'm not sure if you can see it, though and you have the settings for it here so you can show whatever you want customizable head-up display i love that and as i said this is also customizable so have a look at this uh, let's go to display layout you have classic which we are in right now and then you can go to progressive which completely changes the layout of the graphics i like this as well i like progressive and classic then you have digital and it becomes a little bit more i would say modern maybe and you have clean, which totally wipes out everything. And you only have the speedometer and the fuel gauge, basically. And that's it. That's for people who don't like any sort of distractions, I guess, when they're out driving. I like to have it in classic. And you can also customize every single screen here. The left side, you, to have whatever you want there. The right side, we can go in here. You can have the compass, the drive mode, tire pressure, or what have you. I like to keep it in time and temp because it makes uh, more sense to me. So very cool infotainment screen here. And this is a 13.4 inch um, infotainment screen, wireless Apple, Car Apple CarPlay. And I love that. It just annoys me to have wires going all over the interior. So this is perfect setup. So let's head out and see what this drives like. So this 6.2 liter V8 is connected to a uh, 10 speed automatic transmission. And as you can hear, I can't hear the noise from the V8 and I really wish uh, they put a, a, just, it doesn't have to be obnoxiously uh, loud but just a little more noise in this rumble I forgot to mention this thing too you have this fully digital uh, rear mirror here which you can adjust if you want to you can adjust the brightness here or you can zoom in and out and keep it uh, however you want I like to keep it fully zoomed out because it gives me the widest angle looking back and it just makes more sense to have it like that and it's definitely something that i wish i had in my rebel because such a useful feature specifically when you have a truck like this and like i have i have the bed uh the, the rooftop uh tent up on on the bed with the rack so i can't see anything in the rear view mirror would be super helpful to have this camera integrated in in my truck so if you're ever in this area here i would definitely recommend if you're in the denver area definitely have to come out to Red Rocks and check this area out. It's so nice out here. And today, 
it's 8 30 in the morning it's 68 degrees the sun feels warmer than 68 when you're in the sunshine it's supposed to be thunderstorms later this afternoon but i don't see any clouds or any signs of that at all so as i said this is connected to a 10 speed automatic and you have three drive modes to select from which is totally fine for me you don't need any more than that to confuse like 52 different drive modes it just doesn't make sense to me too many options and i get confused and i'll just keep it in one so here we have three uh, off-road terrain and normal and i think that's all you need because if you get in a tricky situation you still have the front and rear locker um, buttons right here so it's gonna get you out of any sort of situation you're gonna get yourself in when you're off-roading i also like that we have uh, physical buttons for everything in here look at how big this start and stop button is by the way i don't think i've ever seen an integration like this for a start and stop button it just looks nice it has a nice housing to it clear chamfer around it looking clean so moving down to this um climate control settings here heated seats cooled seats in three different levels uh, very easy to use these dials to just easily and quickly you don't even have to take your eyes off the road to figure out how to uh mess around with the fan speed and stuff like that and that's exactly how it should be in my opinion in every single car because you want to have those functions physical and easily reachable and the rest can be all software based i don't really care so let's step on it here and let's see what this got So it's not a slow truck by any means. There's a 60 and 6.1 seconds, which is not bad for this size of a truck. But again, it just doesn't have that uh, drama to it that I wanna have in a 6.2 liter V8 with the rumble and the noise going through it. It just feels, sounds a little tame to me. And that's, what, that's basically the only change I would like to make to this truck. One more change. I would like to put 35s on this. This being the AEV edition, why not make it even more special and put 35 inch tire on here to fill out those wheel wheelhouses and i think those would look better with this uh, overall proportions as well these 33s they look great but it also looks uh similar to the normal at4x so have it be a little bit differentiated and more beefy by adding the 35 inch tires but that's just my opinion if you want to you can just pop this down one step and you're in a manual mode and use these paddles but i really don't see the uh, the necessity for using paddles in a truck like this so i just like to keep it in normal regular automatic for for this type of vehicle it just makes more sense we're coming into morrison colorado right now this is one of my favorite little spots in colorado it's just a cute little town right next to red rocks and i feel very fortunate to live just five minutes away from here so anytime i want to go into the mountains it's five ten minutes away and that's exactly what i was looking for when we moved here from florida so i'm really happy about the location while we're stopped here at the red light oh look at that gr corolla very cool i haven't seen a gr corolla in the wild yet and i haven't seen it in red either so while we're stopped here in this red light i can show you these interior features we have a top and bottom glove compartment and now it turned green so i can't show you the bottom one but it's pretty self-explanatory i guess so we're going through the entrance of uh, Morrison right here. Morrison is behind me, the whole strip behind me, a lot of uh, cool little shops and restaurants and stuff like that. And of course the entrance to the Red Rocks Park. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this out on the highway for a short highway drive. Just wanna show you what it feels like in, uh, in higher speeds. 470 East is where we're going. Come on, I want more noise than this. <laughs> it sounds, it doesn't sound like it's a 6.2 liter V8 under here. Coming up to a cruise speed on highways. I mean, it's exactly what you would expect from this truck. Super comfortable. Not a lot of wind noise either, which I'm surprised by because it is has a big front end and it also has pretty large side mirrors but i can't hear a lot of wind noise in going 60 and there's 
uh, quite a lot of traffic today, so we can't go much faster than this, but it's fine. It's Saturday morning, people are going out, doing whatever they want, uh, beautiful weather. If you're worried that these uh, all-terrain tires uh, would make a lot of road noise, I can say, I can tell you that they are not making any sort of uh, droning noise at all. It's completely quiet. I can't hear the tire noise. Maybe a little bit, just like it would on ro no normal uh, road tires, but there's nothing specific about these tires that would make them sound uh, worse on highways. It's very comfortable in here. And even with the leaf springs, I'm surprised of how comfortable this thing is going over some rough roads that, uh, that we did earlier up in, up in Red Rocks. Overall guys, I think Chevy and GMC with their updates for 2022, it just completely transformed this truck and brought it into this decade, which was not the case with the pre-2022 pre model. This is just a fantastic truck. The only question that I have when it comes to this specific AEV edition is, is it actually worth the premium that you're paying over the uh, regular, so to speak, 84X, which is already a very, very premium off-road truck. I mean, if you like uh, the, the additional pieces and parts and details that you get on this, maybe it's worth it for you, but I think the standard 84X is already enough when it comes to off-road capabilities without these trim pieces. And you can add some wheels and tires onto the 84X already and make it look like, almost like this one, except for the bumpers. So let me know in the comments below if you're willing to pay the premium for this truck over the normal 84X. Going into some curvy sections here. Handling feels good as well, even though we have a very our pretty high center of gravity in this thing just look at these views that we have up here absolutely stunning and you see deer in this area all the time specifically early in the mornings i was actually filming uh, the review for the first channel uh this morning at around 6 30 up in red rocks and there was a bunch of deer just walking past. Final verdict on the 2023 GMC Sierra 84X AEV edition. I think it's a fantastic looking truck, both exterior and the interior layout that we have here. Just beautiful all around. Not sure, as I said, if it's worth the premium over the standard 84X, and I wanna hear your opinions on that down in the comments. Huge thanks to GMC for providing uh, this truck uh, for me to review uh, this past week. Uh, it's been a very fun time with this truck. I got to know it, the personalities, and what it's capable of. And if you enjoyed this type of video videos, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. On this channel, I'm gonna do more reviews like this, uh, in POV drives and quick walkarounds of the cars I get while the full in-depth reviews are happening on the SketchMonkey channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.